And now we go straight into the mouth of this clown. He looks very creepy. Are you moving like Michael Jackson? Buddy, aren't you tired of running after all the players here? He keeps trying to catch up with us. I think he's a little stupid. It looks like we've reached Mom's bedroom. If you like and subscribe to the channel now, I will show you what she does there. Come on, guys. About three, two, one. Bluey, get out of here now. I changed my clothes here. <laughs> Hello, everyone, friends. And today we will play this very creepy circus again. It turns out that last time we didn't completely complete this game, we missed several levels. This time we know how to get through it, but I'm still wondering what kind of secret levels await us. How could we even miss several levels? It seems to me that this is impossible. Our subscribers wrote to us that these levels should have been after we entered the clown's mouth. But for some reason, they weren't there. God, last time I didn't even notice there was a giant ugly mouth down there. How is it even possible that we are jumping on balls? Do we weigh two grams? That's right, I forgot. This is Roblox. There's no logic here. These pipes will be a fairly easy test. We'll get through it pretty quickly. I really want to beat this game today faster than I did last time because it seems to me that I already have enough skill to pass all these tests quite quickly. Yes, I also really hope that you will be able to complete this game faster today but it seems to me that there are some tests in which it is better not to rush. Otherwise, we may lose. Okay, the challenges at the very beginning of this game are quite simple. The most difficult test will begin after we jump into the portal. Although, in fact, we still don't know what secret tests await us. The most important thing now is not to relax so much that we start losing in these easy tests. On this spiral staircase with pipes, we also need to be very careful because it's quite difficult to climb up it. Don't worry, Mom. I will cope with this test as easily as possible because I have already climbed such stairs many times. They are often found in such scary games, and I have already trained my climbing skill on them. I have already said many times that these pipes look quite unsafe. But in real life, I would be very afraid to walk through them because it seems to me that it is very difficult to maintain balance on them. Bluey, as always, copes with this task with ease and we move on to the next room. I even forgot that there are circular saws waiting for us here. Have we really just gone through the pipe? It seems to me that this is a small flaw from the developers. But it's very cool that thanks to this, we were able to pass this test faster. So let's climb up these stairs. I wonder what will await us here. Oh, that's a giant Ferris wheel. I completely forgot about him. That scary clown must be here. And here he is. Buddy, aren't you tired of running after all the players here? You are not able to catch up with absolutely anyone. But he does not lose hope. Look, he keeps trying to catch up with us. I think he's a little stupid if he doesn't understand that since we're going upstairs, that means he can't kill us. Okay, now we will rise on this wheel to the very top, and then we will need to cross this very thin wooden bridge. Last time we couldn't do it the first time. I am sure that this time I will be able to do it on the first try because I have already trained a lot. In games like this, it was pretty easy. Now I need to jump on these balls, and then we will go to this huge attraction. I have always been afraid of drop rides because I am very afraid of heights, and it always seems to me that when this ride is at the very bottom, I might accidentally fly out of it. It seems to me that I would never sit in such a drop ride in my life because we know that there is lava down there. But in general, it seems to me that at the very bottom, it is very hot there. Okay. We finally went down, and now we have some pretty tough tests ahead of us before we enter the portal. I remember that it was very difficult for us to pass them last time, and we didn't manage to do it the first time. These falling blade challenges aren't that hard, but swinging two clubs is really one of the most difficult tasks in this game, and it is better to complete it from the side. It's very cool that you already have tactics for passing these tests. By the way, it's funny that the texture of one of these clubs passed through us but didn't knock us into the abyss. Now we will enter this portal and a really difficult test awaits us, especially this bridge. Who even came up with the idea of making such an unsafe bridge? It's impossible to walk on it. It seems to me that the creatures that live here do not need bridges. It seems to me that they are flying above them or something like that. These weird flying fire things always amaze me. Where do they get fuel from and why do they shoot fire? 
It looks pretty strange. I think we could come up with some more interesting model. It seems to me very pointless to blame the developers because they made a really very interesting game that is much more interesting than Barry's Prison Escape. I especially like the fact that there are speed races here too. This game is much more interesting to play with them. This test is really very exciting because here we develop a speed that is even greater than in Barry's Prison Escape. I also like the challenges in which we are given a super high jump because it's really something new. By the way, here it is. I also really like the fact that they decided to give superpowers here using portals. It really looks very cool. I especially like the visual effects that are added to our character, like the blue lighting of his legs. Great! Here's the last jump! Now we need to go through this yellow portal. Run up and jump straight into the Vulcan, after which we will find ourselves near the clown's house. Now we will pass the very tests that we did not pass last time. I'm very interested to see how difficult they are. And now we go straight into the mouth of this clown. He looks very creepy. Look, this is one of those tasks that we missed. But how did that door teleport us right to the very end last time? To be honest, I can't even imagine how this could happen. It really looks like some kind of clown magic. This task was actually quite easy. Perhaps this clown just decided that we were too cool for such simple tasks. Traps on the floor? Who sets traps indoors anyway? I can't imagine how much of a noob you have to be to step into one of these traps. They are really gigantic. It's just hard not to notice them. Okay, we've passed it. Now we find ourselves again in the task that we have already completed. This task was indeed quite difficult. Well, I think we can handle it on the first try. Just look how quickly Bluey goes through all this. It's as if she was born to play this game. I don't remember this task exactly, but it seems to me that this task will be more difficult than the previous ones. Well, let's go through it as quickly as possible. I hope this is the last secret mission from the clown. Are you moving like Michael Jackson? It really looks like a moonwalk. I think that moonwalk really helped me get through that level. Well, let's just head for the door now and see what happens next. Bluey, have you forgotten? This is the end of the game. We've been here before. Okay, I thought these secret levels would be much more difficult. Guys, have you really forgotten? We are about to fall off it because it is not completed. I think you need to eat more carrots to strengthen your memory. I completely agree with you, Dad. I think I need to make some carrot cake after we beat this game. Carrot cake? Seriously? Do you think I look like a rabbit or a hare? For example, I really like carrot cake. It is really very tasty and sweet, despite the fact that carrots are a vegetable. I didn't know you liked vegetables so much. Perhaps our daughter will become the first vegetarian dog in the world. By the way, we completed this game, and it seems to me that this time we completed it much faster. Let's move on to the next game. And here is the first boss Pomni. Wait, is it me, or has she stopped running after us? It seems to me that she is very irresponsible about her work. It seems to me that now we will fall straight into the clutches of Pomni. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from the new Pomni's prison. Wow, she looks very beautiful here. Let's see if the locations in this game will be beautiful. I'm very interested in whether they added Kane to this game this time, or were he still deprived as in the last game? Wow, look. There's some kind of secret door here. This is cool because I have never seen this door open. This obby looks different from the previous ones. Another secret room. Wow, the developers of this game really did a good job. It's a pity that there is nothing useful in these rooms. Just cubes and barrels. We can't just get into this vent. To do this, we need to take this wrench and we're inside. Great. Wow, just look at the design. They even added curtains here and some kind of wheel of fortune. And here is the first boss Pomni. Just look how much they changed this location. Wow. Wait. Is it me, or has she stopped running after us? Um, seriously? It seems to me that she is very irresponsible about her work. Let's go ahead and explore this location. Wait, did they remove this bridge and just make a second floor here that you need to run around? This looks pretty interesting. I wonder how they changed the room with toilets. Let's go into this vent and find out. 
This vent is completely white. It looks cool. I don't think it looks like a room with toilets at all. It looks more like some kind of game room. There's even a trampoline with slides. Cool. We find ourselves in the Obby Dungeon. It's made in the shape of a Gloin Queen's nest. There are even stars that glow on the walls. That's very beautiful. In cartoon, this place seems very scary to me. But here, it looks really incredibly beautiful. It's strange that there is lava here because in the real nest of the Gloin Queen, there is none. Yes, it would be very cool if instead of lava, they added an abyss that is teeming with gloinks. But I think that even so, it looks pretty nice. They even added stars here and made the walls white. In fact, I like it better when this room is very bright. And by the way, they also remade the rolling boulder and made it white with red cracks. I really hope that they remade that same boring task with the valves and made it more interesting. But now we will meet the second boss and find out who it is. Let's see. It's Jax. Just look at this funny skinny Jax. He runs pretty slow. His gait is as if he is going to the grocery store and not trying to catch up with an escaped criminal. Yes, it looks like the creators of this map decided to make fun of him a little and made his gait as goofy as possible. Well, let's now climb up this tower and go to the energy drink race. Is it just me, or did they decide to add these glowing stars to absolutely all locations? But I don't mind it because it really looks very nice. Just look at how many paintings there are here. I really like how responsibly the creators of this map approach decorating this tunnel with various paintings. Wow! They even changed this location. They added a lot of stars here and made a separate room for the vending machine. Yes, this location looks really cool. By the way, we have now started a race with energy drinks, and it has changed a lot. It looks very nice, and there are a lot of new platforms here. It seems to me that now this is one of my favorite modes in Roblox, because I have never seen such beautiful locations. I completely agree with you! It's clear that the creators put a lot of effort into creating this location! I wish it was a little longer, but we're already past it! They even changed the location where the stairs need to be installed under the ventilation. They installed it themselves. This is great. I really like the attention to detail in this game. There are a lot of innovations here, but I really still really hope that the task with the valves was at least slightly changed. It seems to me that they didn't change it because this task with the bridge and the fan remained absolutely the same. But here they painted the pipes a different color. And because of this, the location looks really more interesting. I'm still very interested in when they will add a bubble to this game. Because so far I haven't seen Gangle Bubble and Kafmo here. By the way, yes! I also thought it was quite strange because they are really weren't in this game yet. But I really hope that we will definitely meet them. Maybe one of them will be here as the chef's boss. I think it's very sad for them to realize that they weren't added here. I think we'll find out very soon. Great! We turned on the third valve and now we are going to the ventilation. I'm very glad that we are done with this tedious task. I'm really interested to see how they changed the fan run. I really hope they made the distance between the platforms quite large. I hope they really did it because in previous maps, this challenge was so easy that we didn't even need to jump. I think there's something glowing there. Oh, this is the golden statuette of Ragata. Cool. But unfortunately, we can't take it with us. Perhaps this is good because it would be difficult for us to jump with such a heavy statue in our inventory. Oh no, it seems to me that now we will fall straight into the clutches of Pomni. But no, we were lucky, and now we are going straight into the clutches of Kane. And this time we were lucky too. This game made me scared twice. I didn't think you were so shy, but it's very good that we passed this test. Now we need to jump in this wind tunnel. I think you hit the jump button too early. Yes, I was right, and we didn't make it. Well, there's nothing wrong with that because we can jump again. Cool. Now we go to the boss chef. It looks like Bubble and Gangle are out of luck again, and the role of boss chef is given to Regatta. Unfortunately, yes, but I think I should be sad because we can still meet them further. They changed this location and removed the food display. Well, let's fight against her now. It's actually quite strange to watch Bluey throw food at Ragatha. What's even stranger is that she run out of health very quickly in this map. Did you see her fly up and hit her head right on the ceiling? 
I've never seen such a boss death animation before. It looked extremely funny. It's also quite strange that in this location, instead of sliding down the hill, we were given high speed with which we accelerate. It's pretty funny. And now, we only have two tasks left before we see the final boss. By the way, I really hope they change the colors of the lasers. Yes, I also really like how the lasers in this challenge are different colors. By the way, the walls here are absolutely not decorated at all. They're just blue, but they actually change the colors of these lasers. Just look at this. They look like lightsabers from Star Wars. We found ourselves in the next test, namely in the bridge test. Cool, let's quickly go to him. They also added the Wheel of Fortune here. Wait, seriously, did they remove the bridges here? Okay, let's just jump on these platforms. Just look, this is a huge cane. Let's shoot food right into his mouth. In fact, it's strange that we fight against him with food and not some cool gun with shells. But Kane will finally eat some food other than digital. That is why I would really like to be in his place now. I ate lasagna yesterday and it was the worst meal I've ever had in my entire life. I'm actually very upset to hear this because I tried to cook it delicious. By the way, we defeated Kane and we finally beat this game. Unfortunately, we didn't see Gangle or the bubble here, but nevertheless, this game was very cool. Now let's move on to the next game. Just look at him, he's still trying to catch us. He's caught us again. Oh no, it's the spider chef, he caught oh. us. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from Papa Pizza's Pizzeria. Everything here is so disgusting and dirty. I would never in my life eat at such a pizzeria. What do they cook here from Skulls? Maybe he uses bone meal to make his pizza. So let's go down this elevator and find out where we're going now. This elevator looks very unreliable. I would be afraid to go down an elevator like that in real life. We ended up in some kind of basement. Look, human bones were falling out of this pipe and they were grinding. It looks like your guesses were correct. It's good that we didn't fall into this shredder ourselves, so let's move on. Oh, he set traps here. It looks like he was tormented by rats since he has traps in this place. I think we need to follow this pizza path. Do you hear these sounds? It seems to me that this crazy cook is running after us right now. We need to run without stopping so that he doesn't catch us. Did you see it? He actually ran right behind us and almost caught up with us. Well, we ended up in the sewer where the waste from his pizzeria is dumped. I wonder what kind of ingredients he has. The waste is so green. It seems to me that this may be something like cucumber pickle. Otherwise, I simply cannot find an adequate explanation for why this liquid is green. Wait, this is the same mirror. Why is this guy right in front of us? This is some kind of strange optical illusion. Well, let's find a way out of here. I think I see some kind of door. Look, there's a lot of cobwebs here, but how could she possibly have appeared here? Oh no, it's the spider chef. He caught us. God, he looks so creepy. Actually, we need to concentrate more on this test because it is really quite difficult to pass. Yes, this test is really very difficult because these webs are quite close to each other. Now you need to make the most careful jump possible. Oh no, he caught us again. This task is really difficult because we have already failed to complete it twice. I hope that Bluey will be able to pass this level the third time. I realize how I need to jump correctly. The main thing is not to move in this web. Great, I got through it. We dealt with it quickly. Now let's head down. Look, there is some kind of corridor with spikes on the walls. You need to be as careful as possible. It looks like one of the other players accidentally stepped on the platform. I thought that everything here was set up the same way as in Barry's prison break. And your completion of the test does not depend on other players. The main thing is that we pass this task and let's move on. Look, ahead is some huge rusty pipe with a spiral staircase. I think it will be quite difficult to climb it. The main thing is to take your time and jump as carefully as possible. Otherwise, you may fall down but I trust you because you are pro in passing Obby. For Blue Eye, it was a very easy change. So let's now jump into this pipe and get to the next location. Did you really just call her Blue Eye? Okay, okay, no matter what, the location was also pretty simple. Now let's go up these stairs. I'm very interested in what awaits us from above. Look, pizza again. We found ourselves in some kind of hall. Oh no, it's that cook again. We need to find a way out of here. Great! We again ended up in some kind of underground room. Well, let's get through this, Obby. 
Lasers! Oh my god! I think the creators of the game know exactly what I really like. I just love the laser challenge. I don't know why, but I really like the way they glow. It looks like this game is really a little beyond my strength, but I like the fact that it's so hard. Skeletons? Oh my god! I think this cook kept his victims here. Well, look, one of the skeletons has a crowbar. I think with this pry bar, we can open the door. You're right! This is what it says here. Find a pry bar to open the door. Well, we opened the door to some kind of elevator. Now we will press the button and go up. I hope we are very close to leaving here. Creepy elevator again. I'm very scared to be in such closed spaces. Maybe I'm claustrophobic? Don't forget that such elevators don't exist in real life. They are really extremely unsafe. Tess again. Well, it seems to me that here you need to be as careful as possible in order not to die and move forward. These spiky things stay in one position for a very short amount of time. It seems to me that they are slamming right behind us. I think it's worth using a third-person view and playing that game sideways. It will be really easier. The last test remains to be completed. Cool! I managed to do it! Let's move on now. Now watch. We need to get through these pipes to the very top. The main thing is not to fall into the shredder again, otherwise we will die. Well, moving along all the conveyor belts is quite difficult because they are constantly moving and human bones are constantly falling out of these pipes and are constantly trying to knock us off these conveyor belts. Well, this challenge is really quite hardcore. Wait, do they really want us to jump into this weird rusty thing? To be honest, it absolutely does not inspire confidence in me. Just like the fact that there is lava below us. It's good that this chain withstood our weight and did not lower us to the very bottom. Otherwise, we would have been boiled alive in this lava. Now we have to walk Abby on these rusty platforms right above the lava. Why is it that in all Roblox modes, the creators love to make the stairs too short? Is this some kind of additional task to increase the difficulty level? These platforms on the wall are so small. I think this will be quite difficult. I wonder if Bluey will be able to get through it all the first time. So far, everything is going pretty well. I'm doing well. Great! I did it! Now let's go upstairs. I think the exit is already very close. Now we need to run home! But wait, do we really have to run through this creepy forest at night? I think it's very scary. Why did everything go dark around? Oh my god, do you hear this voice? I think he's running after us again. I need to check if this is true. Oh no, here he is. He's caught us again. Well, I'm ready to admit that this game is really very difficult. Let's try to get through this scary forest on the second try. This is one of the hardest games I've played in my life. We need to try to choose the optimal route so that he doesn't catch up with us. Look, he's actually running right behind us. We just need to run forward to reach the fence that we can jump over. And here he is. Great, we did it. Just look at him. He's still trying to catch us. Hooray, we did it. Great. Here's the playground. Well, I think we finished this game pretty quickly. Now let's sit on this swing and move on to the next game. Epic explosion. Bang. It exploded. Let's try to play with it a little. Ha ha. We fooled you again. I think this guy definitely wouldn't be able to use some secret tunnel. Hello. Hello, everyone, friends, and today we will escape from prison, Perry the Platypus. Just look at how funny this guy dances. It seems to me that with such a belly, it is very difficult to be a secret agent because he will not be able to get into some hard-to-reach places such as ventilation. I think you're right, but if we were escaping from the prison of the real Perry the Platypus, I definitely wouldn't be able to escape from it because he has a lot of gadgets. It seems to me that this would not hinder me in any way because I have already completed these games a thousand times and even if it was mega difficult, I would still be able to complete it. Well now, let's look at what this boss Perry the Platypus looks like. I think this guy definitely wouldn't be able to use some secret tunnel. Yes, I completely agree with you. This guy is so pot-bellied, he can barely walk up those stairs. I think he definitely won't be able to catch up with us and he certainly won't be able to jump onto these pipes after us. Well, buddy, stay here, and we'll move on. By the way, it seems to me that this location is very similar to the location from the previous game about Cop Gumball. She is the same blue as she was in that game. 
But the room with the toilets is slightly different because last time it didn't have such green walls. Well, let's quickly go to Abby's dungeon. It's very funny that they paint all the levels of the ground in different colors, as if we were actually digging through some kind of earth rock. Well, now let's pass this test. It actually looks pretty default. They at least tried to decorate these platforms in different colors, and even the planks on the bridge look multicolored. Well, this is very cool, and I really like the way they did it. But unfortunately, here in this test, the distance between the platforms is as small as possible. This is very annoying. I also noticed that they removed the timer for completing this game, so we can take our time and just go through it absolutely slowly and without trying to set a new record, because in any case, we won't know how long it took us to complete it. And now we will find out who will be in the role of the boss of the night in prison, Perry the Platypus. It would be great if it was Dr. Heinz Doofenshmirtz. I don't think he's particularly suited for this role. Just look. This is the most ordinary boss knight in a green t-shirt. But why did they decide to do it this way? It is very sad. I also expected to see anyone but him. This is very sad. Let's try to play with it a little. Ha ha. We fooled you again. Bye-bye, fool. In fact, here, it feels like the creators of this mode screwed up a lot because they didn't even change the second boss. I really hope this doesn't happen again with the chef boss and the final boss of this game because then this game won't be much different from the original Barry Prison Break. In fact, it's very sad that every time we go to play Prison Escape Barry, I hope that we will see something new. But in the end, every time we go through the same game in which the color palette and character models have been slightly changed, I would like to see new tests and new challenges here. But unfortunately, so far, everything is the same. You said it with such sadness in your voice that I even felt sad. But I still don't lose heart. I really, really hope that someday we will finally see some new interesting mode. By the way, guys, if you suddenly saw any interesting modes similar to Barry's Prison Escape, be sure to write their name in the comments and we will play them with the whole family. Let's complicate the passage of this game, and I'll try to pass it from a third person after I install this ladder under the ventilation. It seems to me that this would be a rather interesting experience because we usually always go through it in first person. Yes, I really think we should try this because it should be a little more difficult. Well, let's check if Bluey can also master all these tests by playing this game from a third person. So far, she is passing all these tests with the same ease as she always does. But I think that in the future she may have problems passing other tests. I think it would be better to take the test with the valves in first person because it will be a little more interesting. I even forgot that we now have to go through this tedious, long test. Let's try to pass it as soon as possible so as not to linger on it for a long time because this test is starting to irritate me very much. I think nothing could be more boring than this task. It seems to me that the only thing more boring than this is to sit and stare at one point for ten minutes. I'm really tired of these valves. I see them every day. I want to see something new in this game. Guys, don't start getting angry. We have already finished this task, and now we have an interesting task ahead of us, namely, a race with fans. I'm very interested in how we will complete this task from a third person. By the way, just look at how funny Bluey is jumping inside this ventilation. Wait, are you serious? Where is the test here? It seems to me that Bluey even removed her hands from the keyboard because there is absolutely no need to jump here. The airflow just carries you to the end of this test, and you can't even fall between these platforms. Well, we have reached the end of this test, if you can call it that. And now, oh, seriously, damn, did you forget to press the jump button? Yes, I'm just not used to third-person view, but I think that this won't happen again. And by the way, they didn't change the third boss in this game. This is the most ordinary, Chef Harry. This is very sad, because this is the second boss that hasn't been changed in this game. I think we need to fight this boss in first person, because it's impossible to shoot in third person. 
The shells are flying absolutely not where you want to shoot. So here, I think we can go back to first person view. We have already fought against him a huge number of times, and this time we defeated him very easily. Wow, you made this very epic. He also threw us up with a blast wave. Now let's go down this slide and head forward to face the last two challenges before meeting the final boss. I'm really interested to see how Bluey does the laser challenge in third person, because last time we played Barry's Water Prison Escape, she had a really hard time controlling her character because she had to walk up through the water. Interesting. How difficult will the controls be this time? Here the controls are slightly inverted, and when I press the forward button, my character flies backwards. This complicates the task a little, but nevertheless, for me, this is a very easy test, and I am sure that I will cope with it the first time. Cool. It was very easy. Now let's do the last task with bridges. I'm very interested to see who the final boss will be, and I really hope that the developers of this game didn't make it the same as in the usual Barry's Prison Break. But let's go through this test before that. It's cool that we discovered a new way to pass this map, and we can use just one board to completely complete this level. It looks even more fun in third person. And now we will see the final boss. Great. This is Perry the Platypus Robot. His model is made very funny. I think it will be very difficult to fight against him from a third person view. Wait, what? He didn't even shoot at us, but he did damage to us. It seems to me that playing against him in third person is almost impossible. So let's switch back to first person view and try to defeat him like that, because otherwise he might even kill us. We've taken down one of his robotic arms. Cool, let's shoot at the second one to finally kill him. This boss has given us quite a bit of trouble. Just one shot left. Great, bye bye Robot Perry the Platypus. Epic explosion, bang, it exploded. Cool, we defeated this boss. Well, this game was basically the same as all the other Barry prison escapes. And I hope that in the near future, we will finally find something interesting. Now let's move on to the next game. It's very strange that he suddenly decided to disappear. Wait, what? Did he come out of nowhere? He is running after us only to hug us very tightly because he looks very friendly. He caught us. They actually named him Gumball. And it's the robot Gumball. Hello, everyone, friends. And today you and I will escape from the prison of this charming blue kitten whose name is Gumball. Wait, seriously? They made a game for him but still haven't made a game about us? Well, okay. I hope that someday this will definitely happen. For now, let's play this game. So far, everything we see in this game is absolutely the same as what we saw in other remade versions of Barry's Prison Break. Yes, even the fact that Gumball got angry at us through the bars. I think this is quite strange, but this bug occurs quite often, so let's go and take a closer look at him. I'm very interested to see how it was made up close. Well, let's go down and have a look. Um, looks like he's not here. Perhaps he decided to take a lunch break. So let's go upstairs and he won't bother us. It's very strange that he suddenly decided to disappear. Wait, what? Did he come out of nowhere? Looks like this gumball is very vigilant. He even tried to climb up after us. It looked pretty funny, but we managed to break away from it. Well, it looked pretty strange, but it's good that he can't get behind us. Although it would be quite funny to run away from him along this beam. But it seems to me that he would definitely not be able to fit into this ventilation because he is quite pot-bellied. Well, we ended up in a room with toilets and now let's dig a tunnel into the Obby dungeon. I really like the fact that here, after all the developers decided to try very hard on the design and change the color scheme of this location to blue colors. It seems to me that if they did create a game about you, it would have the same color schemes because you are just like Gumball and Darwin, blue and orange. You are right. I never noticed this before. Well, this is very funny. By the way, about Darwin, I'm very interested in whether he will be in this game. I guess we'll find out once we pass this rolling boulder test. By the way, I'm very interested in whether Darwin will be here as the night's boss. I think he's perfect for this role. Yes, I completely agree with you. Well, let's now pass this test and we will find out. By the way, I really liked how they created or redid this corridor and added buildings here. And so we are there. And here comes Darwin. Just look at how funny his face is. 
He smiles very funny. Oh no, it looks like he's about to catch up with us. He caught us, but we were able to get a closer look at his face and he actually looks really funny. I wouldn't call him an evil boss. Yes, it seems to me that he is running after us only to hug us very tightly because he looks very friendly. Well, we were able to escape from him, and now let's climb these steps to the top of this tower and go to the energy drink test. By the way, have you noticed that the locations near the boss Gumball are colored blue, and the tasks near the boss Darwin are colored orange? It's very funny that the creators of this game designed everything exactly like this. Yes, I noticed it. I think this is very funny. Map creators rarely care so much about this. By the way, look. Here too, everything is painted blue and even clouds have been added to some platforms. I hope they won't stop us from running. I really like this design, and it looks like these clouds are really transparent. In principle, this is done just like in real life but it would be very cool if they really prevented us from passing tests because it would add hardcore to this game. Yes, I also really like the way this game has changed the design, but I would really like to see some new challenges because every time we go through the same thing. And I think that I'm starting to get a little bored with this game. Yes, I also hope that soon we will come across a game that will be a little different from the standard Barry prison escape. Now let's take this ladder and place it directly under the ventilation. Wow, Bluey managed to jump into it the first time. But it seems to me that this is no longer so surprising because she really plays these games every day. I think I would be even more surprised if she didn't manage to jump there on the first try. And now she passes all these tests quite masterfully. And by the way, only 260 seconds have passed, and we have already reached the test with the valves. Today, we are also moving through this game quite quickly. I hope we can handle it in 500 seconds. I think Bluey can do it even faster. And now we are heading to the last third valve, after which we will have to climb to the very top and proceed to the test, which will be a race with fans. I really hope that this fan run will be at least a little more difficult than the one we did in Gummy Bear's Prison Break because there was too little distance between the platforms, and we didn't even need to jump to get from one platform to the second. Yes, I remember that too. It was quite strange. Apparently that mode was made specifically for children who are very bad at obby. That's why we didn't really like this mode because we are already real professionals in playing this game. I hope Bluey can pass this obby the first time because the platforms here are really spaced out quite far from each other but I'm sure she can do it. She only has a few jumps left to do and I'm sure she can do them even with her eyes closed. Great, she managed to do it. Now let's go to the wind tunnel. I'm actually getting through everything pretty quickly today. I think I really need to try Barry's prison escape with my eyes closed at least once. Maybe I can actually do this. By the way, look, here comes Chief Darwin. He's running after us. It looks like the creators of this map didn't watch the cartoon The Amazing World of Gumball because they don't even know that his name is Darwin. Just look at his HP bar. They actually named him Gumball. It really looks very strange and we finally killed it. We defeated him very quickly and now let's go down this hill because we only have two tests left before meeting the final boss. Who do you think will be the final boss here? I think it would be cool if it was Gumball's mom or dad, but I think Gumball's dad is too lazy to become the final boss. Although in size, it is just perfect for this role. And it seems to me that their sister Anais would be perfect for this role because she has always been in the cartoon as some kind of evil genius. And I think it would be cool to see her in the costume of the giant robot cop. By the way, yes! I didn't think about it at all, but it seems to me that the ideal candidate for the role of the final boss would be Tina Rex, because she looks like the most evil character in the entire cartoon. Are you just saying that because she's a huge Tyrannosaurus? It seems to me that it would be difficult for her to be the final boss because you need the robot boss to have machine gun arms. And Tina, like any Tyrannosaurus, has very small hands, and it would look very goofy. I didn't even think about it, but it would look really funny. And now we find out who the final boss is, 
And it's the robot Gumball. By the way, look at the cap he's wearing. She looks very strange for a robot. I think we've already seen caps on robots in these games, but it really looks kind of weird. We're done with one of his arms, and now let's shoot the other. By the way, this boss Gumball managed to hit us three times. It's very cool that the mechanics of defeating the boss are a little harder here. But we easily defeated him, even despite the damage we received. I like this game because it was very beautifully designed. And now, let's move on to the next game. Perhaps it was because of these small legs that he could not catch up with us. This guy's legs are as thin as the legs of the first boss. Shoot him straight in the head! It's Gummy Bear! Hello, everyone. Friends, today we will play Gummy Bear Prison Escape. Just look at his thin legs. It seems to me that such a huge body is very difficult for these legs to hold. I remember that funny Gummy Bear song. When I was a child, I had a player that only played this song. I loved her very much. It's a shame that this song was not added to this game because it would have been very cool. Well, now let's move forward and start passing the tests. It's strange that they didn't change the initial tests at all. It seems to me that there are a lot of ideas on how they could be changed in the style of the gummy bear. Yes, you could add something like jelly trampolines or other nonsense. <gasps> By the way, here comes gummy bear. I'm still laughing so hard from his skinny little legs. I don't think these legs suit him at all. Perhaps it was because of these small legs that he could not catch up with us. But in general, it seems to me that none of the first bosses ever managed to catch up with us because Bluey is really a professional in passing these games. I still can't believe that none of the map creators in Roblox thought of adding a map where you need to escape from Bluey Prison. We already have 10,000 subscribers on the channel, and I think that someone has definitely seen how we play these modes. I actually envy our friends from the amazing Digital Circus because their models are even added to modes that have nothing to do with them. These guys are very lucky because Roblox has a lot of modes related to them. I think we should stop being jealous of them and take this matter into our own hands. Guys, be sure to write in the comments. Would you like to see a mode in Roblox where you need to escape from Bluey and Bingo Prison? I hope that you will give this video a lot of likes and we will definitely make such a map. I hope that our subscribers will give a lot of likes because I really want to play this mode. But unfortunately, no one has made it yet. And I think it's the best idea for us to try to make it ourselves. Yes, I completely agree with you. I'm curious what the boss knight will actually look like. Will it really be a gummy bear, too? Well, now we'll go upstairs and find out what it looks like. No, it seems that the creators of this map were too lazy to change the model of this character, and they left him in the form of a boss knight. The only thing they changed for him was adding a green jersey. But this guy's legs are as thin as the legs of the first boss. I'm still surprised how these legs can bear the weight of such a huge pot-bellied body, even with an iron helmet on its head. I also noticed that in this mode, the developers decided to remove the timer in the lower left corner of the screen. And now we don't even know how long it takes us to complete this mode. So there is no point in trying to set a new record. It's very sad because... I really like it when we go through these modes very quickly because we actually get on the leaderboards in some of them, and that's very cool. Wow! In this location, the developers decided to change the colors of the platforms. They made them as bright as possible. This is cool, but at the same time, it really gets in the way a little because because of this color, it is impossible to see the volume of the figure. But that didn't stop you from passing this level the first time. Well done, Bluey. I never doubted that you are a professional in playing these games. Now let's go up the stairs and pass the most boring test in this game. Namely, the test from the need to install a ladder under the ventilation. I really hate this task because here you constantly have to try very hard to get this ladder level under the ventilation. Otherwise, we won't be able to jump into it the first time. But Bluey always succeeds the last few times. It seems to me that she was very trained in passing this test. It's a shame that the timer was removed from this game. Because of this, we won't know how long it took us to complete this game. This is very sad, because this time we are passing all the tests on the first try. 
and I would really like to know with what result we will finish passing this map. I think it doesn't matter, because I already know that I play this game better than anyone. Well, now I need to pass this boring test, where I need to turn all the valves. This task also annoys me very much, but in any case, we need to complete it in order to move on. Last valve left. The main thing is not to rush through this game so that we can actually complete all the tasks here on the first try. This would be a great achievement for us. We passed this test, and now we need to go through these ventilations in order to get into the task where there will be a race with fans. This is another cool task in this game. I really hope that the creators of this game at least changed it somehow. And so, now we go into the ventilation. We are now finally finding out how much this test has been changed, and it looks like the developers haven't added anything new here at all. Wait, did they seriously make the distance between platforms smaller? I think we might not even jump. They made this test too easy. You can go through it without even pressing a single button. It seems to me that this was done for the children who came to play this game for the first time, so that it would not be at all difficult for them. Well, now let's see what the boss chef looks like in this game. It hasn't been changed at all either. This is the most common boss Harry chief from the standard Barry prison escape. Let's quickly take the bazooka and kill him as quickly as possible so that we can go to the final boss. I would advise you to shoot him straight in the head. But it seems to me that you already know this without my prompting. And this boss doesn't even have time to walk a few meters and you immediately kill him over and over again. We dealt with him again very quickly. He didn't even have time to reach us. Well, let's now go down this hill. And we only have two tests left to go through before meeting the final boss. I hope we can pass the laser test without dying. You can be sure of it, Mom. I have passed this test a huge number of times and I always pass it on the first try. These lasers are always the same, and they spin at the same speed. So I constantly manage to fly in those places where they cannot touch me. I can't wait to see the final boss. I hope they changed it and didn't leave it the same as in the usual Barry's prison break, because they didn't change the two bosses in this game. It's very sad. We will find out very soon. But now we need to fly through the last laser in order to find ourselves before the final task with bridges. This task was very easy for Bluey. Last time we discovered a new way to pass this level as quickly as possible. And to do this, we need to take only one board and then rearrange it between platforms in order to move on. This is the easiest way to pass this level and Bluey did it perfectly. And now we will see the final boss. And yes, it's Gummy Bear. They really tried to change it. He doesn't even lag. He follows us around this location instead of standing in one place. This is very cool. They even changed the model of the robot itself and made it green. He even manages to hit us. This is very cool. This adds to the difficulty of this boss, but nevertheless, we dealt with it very easily. But it's very cool that he managed to hit us twice. We passed this map very quickly. I really liked this game. Now let's move on to the next game. Um, it seems to me that you are slightly from a different game. It's guys from the amazing Digital Circus. He is also looks like a diggy dag. Steven Jax is here. Looks like he's trying to escape from those bars. And here comes the final boss of Cyber Deeg Dago. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will escape from prison Dago Dago. Seriously? This giant pot-bellied nugget in a cowboy hat is called Dig Dago? I think this is the strangest name for a nugget. Didn't it bother you at all that this is actually a real nugget who is alive and wears a cowboy hat? It looks pretty stupid, but I was told that there are a lot of interesting obstacles in this map. Um... It seems to me that you are slightly from a different game. It was very strange to see a female cop from a women's prison here. Let's now meet the first real boss. Here comes Diego Dago. I hope they didn't add a lot of speed to him and he won't be able to catch up with us now. Everything here looks very funny and all the walls are yellow. It feels like we're in a package of cheese sauce. I think nuggets and cheese sauce are the best combination in the world. 
By the way, we got to the second floor and escaped from Dagadago. Now let's run through these pipes and get some ventilation. I'm very interested to see what new things have been added to the toilet room. Fortunately, the walls here are white just like in a regular toilet. Just look, it's guys from the amazing Digital Circus. But it seems to me that someone is missing here. It's Kane! To be honest, I would be very upset if I were him because they even put Barry in there. But they forgot about our friend Kane. By the way, we now find ourselves in a huge dungeon made in the style of the sea. Guys, is it just me or have you completely forgotten about Bubble? Actually, that toilet was also missing him. They didn't even add him here, although I think he is very close to the marine theme. Don't worry about it, because I think that every bubble in this game is him. Even here, where huge waterfalls fall, there are a lot of bubbles below. I believe that all the bubbles are a model of bubble from the amazing digital circus. Yes, I think these were the most correct words so that the bubble would stop being offended. By the way, this design of the corridor with a large rolling boulder is very unique. I've never seen anything like this. And what will we see now? <gasps> oh, it's a boss knight. He is also looks like a Deggy Dago. It's so strange that he wears a hat instead of knight helmet. Did you notice that it was a knife in his shoulder? I am so interested that who left that knife in him. Yes, and I think that Kane left this knife in it because he decided not to add him to this game. I still think this is very unfair. There are sharks here. Oh no, this boss has turned on us again. Well, let's just go up these steps. The main thing is that we were able to escape from this Mr. Dagadago. Steven Jax is here. Looks like he's trying to escape from those bars. But I still think it's really unfair that they didn't add Kane to the installation. By the way, it is even here, but Kane's still nowhere to be found. It looks like the creators of this map really love Pomni. They even added it here. But it seems to me that we haven't even completed half of the game yet, and Kane can appear anywhere. There on the right side, there is again a huge installation of circus. Let's see, maybe Kane will be there. But no, this time he wasn't there either. Well, let's keep running this energy drink race. I hope we finally find something similar to Kane in this map. We managed to pass this level with ease. Great. Now let's climb up these stairs and see what awaits us ahead. Now we have a test ahead of us in which we need to put the stairs under the ventilation. Let's quickly open this room, take this ladder, and put it in place. I saw a few more of Digital Circus characters in this location. Here are Pomni, Jax, Ragatha, and Kingler. Great. Oh, just look. Behind these bars are the sharks that ate Barry. He deserves it. I'm actually still a little confused. Why didn't the author add Kane anywhere? Even in this ventilation, there is absolutely everything and even Barry. But Kane not on it. I don't understand why he doesn't love Kane so much. Don't worry, buddy. I hope that sooner or later we will see him here anyway. In the meantime, let's jump through these pipes and go up to start testing with valves. In general, don't you think it's strange that Digital Circus characters are in this prison? Because this is a Dagadago prison? I don't understand at all why the creators of this map did everything in a marine style. How can a chicken nugget and the sea be connected? Maybe, in fact, it's not a chicken nugget, but a fish nugget. And that's why everything here is done in this style. But I think this is a pretty stupid theory. It seems to me that you are already really starting to talk about some kind of nonsense. Well, Bluey turned all the valves, and now we will run through this ventilation straight to the next ventilation. I really hope that we will pass this map as soon as possible and still meet Kane here. What about Bubble Guys? I remind you that he is also nowhere here. Wow. We reached the fan race, and here, in addition to digital circus characters, there are also sharks. Oh my god. It looks very cool. They blocked our path which is why the passage of this location became even more hardcore. I really liked what we saw. Here and now, let's climb these stairs and take a jump in the wind tunnel. And here again, circus characters, but there is no bubble or cane. It seems to me that the creators of this map really need to work on adding them here. By the way, here is the cafeteria location, but there is no boss Daga Dago here. Here, instead of him, is the usual boss cook. Well, 
Let's kill as soon as possible. Well, here comes the bazooka. Let's take it and shoot this boss chef. Bluey, the main thing is not to forget that hitting the head does the most damage. This is the best way to kill him as soon as possible. Great. We killed him. By the way, I think they only left the boss chef here because this boss chef actually cooked this nugget that became the evil boss Diga Dago. Wow! There are a lot of circus characters here. And again, there is two of characters missing here. Only two challenges left. To be honest, it seems to me less and less that Kane can appear in this game because the creator of this map disliked him for something. So let's just finally go through the location and meet the final boss. I'm very interested in what it will look like. And here is the last test before meeting the final boss. Bluey, I hope you remember our life hack. It seems to me that it makes much more sense to use just one board. This life hack was suggested to us by our subscribers in the comments. You don't have to take all the boards from above, but just take just one and drag it behind you. And here comes the final boss of Cyberdeek, Dago. He has very strange legs. It seems to me that other robots look slightly different. He waves his name so funny. It's probably because he's a nugget and he's not used to using his legs at all. All that's left is to shoot the second hand for it to explode. We finally defeated him. In fact, this boss was quite difficult because he was running after us. Oh, just look at this funny face of Pumni. She always makes weird faces. We completed this game in 500 seconds, but unfortunately, we didn't see either Kane or the bubble in this game. So let's move on to the next game. Looks like this poor guy had some bad luck during his jump. Wait, is it just me? Or does our character grow a little when we eat these cookies? I don't think we can fit through that doorway a bit. Oh, just look at this face. It looks very goofy. I think it would be a great idea to push her down those stairs and into the basement. How did these grannies even end up at the top of the fence if they can't even climb the stairs? Hello everyone, friends, and today we will run away from the house of a very grumpy granny. Well, let's begin our escape. We found ourselves in some room, and our first task was to find grandma's cookies. Well, I think we definitely need to look for a kitchen in this house. If this granny is so angry, then the cookies may even end up in the basement but we already found them in the kitchen. Oh no, this is the same granny. We need to run into that room from where she ran out after us. Look, she has a key to the attic on the wall. Let's grab him and quickly go to the attic to escape through it. Great, we have the key. Well, now the main thing is that this granny doesn't catch up with us. I'm very interested in how she will climb those stairs. Oh, is she seriously using a lift? It will be very strange if she manages to catch up with us. Don't worry, Dad. I can definitely escape from this granny. Great. She didn't follow us into this attic because she doesn't know how to use the steps. Now, we need to overcome all the obstacles that are located in this attic and finally escape from this scary house. It's quite strange that in her attic there are various obstacles like spikes or... Wait, what? Traps? Seriously, I think she placed them to catch some very giant rats here. Barbed wire? Is there some kind of military exercise going on in her attic? It looks very strange, but we finally got out into the yard. Wait, can't we escape through the fence? Oh, no. Granny got out into the yard and is running after us. There's some kind of grave here. Let's quickly jump into it. Looks like this poor guy had some bad luck during his jump. Well, it's good that we were luckier, and now we need to explore these catacombs. Where does Grandma even have such huge underground tunnels under her yard? This still remains a mystery to me. And now we will climb these stairs. There is an elevator here. This is very good. We need to press this button and we will go straight to the top. I hope this sends us straight to the exit. I think this will definitely not be our last test, because then this game will become too short. It seems to me that we still have a huge number of tests ahead that Grandma has prepared for us. This spiral staircase is so huge! I'm surprised how this Granny even thought of building such a long staircase. After all, she has huge problems using them. Well, now we'll go into some new room. But before that, we need to jump over the last spike pit. Great! Wait, why did everything get so dark? 
Oh no! Some zombie is coming for us! Maybe these are the ghosts of children who were previously caught by the angry granny, and now they are hunting for us? Lord, we definitely need to find a way out of here as soon as possible. And here is the way out. I'm sorry, children, that we couldn't save you. We would really like this. We climbed out through the well. This means that it was the angry granny who threw all the children into this well, and they died there. Wow, this is the creepiest story I've ever heard in a Roblox game. We need to escape from this granny again. She is too active for such an old woman. It's very strange that she always manages to find us. She really stopped running after us. But no, she thinks she can still catch up with us. But unfortunately, Granny, there are stairs here. You definitely won't be able to get down them. And now let's explore another basement of her house. It seems to me that the area of the underground premises under her house is much larger than the area of her own house. Seriously? Does she even have a huge track here for riding these grandma's motorcycles? It seems to me that she has quite an interesting life in this house if she arranges for herself entertainment like this. Actually, it's very strange that this racetrack is located here. I wonder if Grandma was able to complete this route at least once. I don't think she looks like a speed freak. But I'm sure that we can do it because we really love high speed. But in this test, speed is not important because it was very dangerous to drive there. However, we were able to easily complete this task, and now we are going to the next room. I wonder what awaits us there. So let's take a look. Oh my god, it's a giant green ball of thread. Does this granny have some kind of thread factory here? Or why are these balls so huge? I was very scared when I saw this ball because I thought that it would knock us down and this would be our first death in this playthrough. But we were very lucky and managed to avoid it. Let's finally leave this house and see what awaits us in the backyard. This location is similar to the place where we will fight the final boss. Wait, why is this motorcycle with an invisible rider riding here? Maybe he wants to become our friend? I think he is unlikely to be able to help us resist the final boss. So let's take this gun and start fighting against him. Here there are a lot of different grannies who jump off the fence and run in our direction. We need to shoot them back with this cookie gun. How did these grannies even end up at the top of the fence if they can't even climb the stairs? It seems to me that you forgot that this is Roblox and that there is no logic in it. But in fact, I can say that these grannies are moving towards us quite slowly. And you defeated them very quickly, Bluey. Well done. You did it in just 330 seconds. Now let's go up to the top of this house and see what awaits us here. And here are the cookies that we stole from this granny. Let's eat them! Oh, just look at this face. It looks very goofy. Wait, is it just me? Or does our character grow a little when we eat these cookies? I wonder how big we can grow. Oh yeah, I think this size suits us very well. Now I think we can go back to this grandma and beat her up. Um... I don't think we can fit through that doorway a bit. Well, let's turn into a cop, take a motorcycle, and go straight to this granny. I found her. She's still sleeping and doesn't notice our presence here. I think it would be a great idea to push her down those stairs and into the basement. Apparently, when she sleeps, she stands very strong, and she cannot fall down those stairs. Well, I think it will be enough to lock her in this basement so that she will never be able to get out of here and catch children again. 